And then I'm wiggles. Well, it's just a thing to fill up all the bubble. You just want to fill up with nothing. What? <laughs> A beautiful worship team come up and they're gonna they're gonna sing some songs some Jesus songs to you guys you guys ready for that yeah, yeah? okay but before they come up I'm gonna open up in prayer we're gonna I'm gonna pray first and then we'll get this started okay all right dear father God I just want to thank you for this day Lord I just thank you for what you're doing in this service and I just pray that you will continue to have your way Lord as people come I just pray that you will uh, minister to them, and Lord, I just pray that you will be with the team that is here from American Indian College. Lord, I thank you for your love, grace, and mercy, and I just pray for the pastor as well, that you will be with him also, Lord. And thank you for your love, grace, and mercy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. We just like to 
thank Pastor Art for inviting us to do this for you guys here at the church here at North Mountain Church. So I just want to introduce you to my friend David, and he'll tell you all about his friends, the puppets. Okay? All right. Good afternoon, and welcome to our show on behalf of American Indian College in cooperation with the North Mountain Community Church. We'd like to welcome you to our show. Let me introduce to my guest, firstly, we have Miss Know It All. Uh, I'm a little shy. My name really is Sherlock. Next, we have Miss, Mrs. Remember Well. How y'all doing? <laughs> then we have Mr. Don't Know A Lot. <laughs> Hello. And finally, we have Sean. Hi, kid. <laughs> Today's question is, how do you get to heaven? Actually, that's a rather easy one. Everyone knows that if you're good, you go to heaven. But if you're bad, you don't. So if you do more good things than bad ones, you'll go to heaven. Wait, 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 wait a minute. That's not right. If we can all get to heaven by being good, there will be no need for Jesus to die for us. Duh! Oh! You have a point there. So how can we get to heaven, Miss Know-It-All? By believing in God, you will go to heaven. Nonsense! You're both wrong. Even a devil believes in God, but he's not going to heaven. Give us your answer then, Mrs. Mrs. Remember Well. This is the question I've been studying for 50 years. But I finally found the answer. To get to heaven, you must be dead. <laughs> Amazing! And it only took you 50 years to figure that out! Wait! There's more! As well as being dead, the Bible teaches that we must be a Christian. Hmm. Now we're getting close. But how can a person become a Christian, Mrs. Remember Well? I have no idea. It may take me another 50 years to find that out. I'm afraid we don't have that long. Mr. Don't Know What, can you help us out? <laughs> I certainly can. You become a Christian while going to church. It's as simple as that. But that can't be right. If I went into my garage, would that turn me into a... <laughs> I don't think so. Nope. So going to church wouldn't turn me into a Christian. No, there must be another answer. Sean, we're getting really desperate here. You're our last hope. Do you know how we can get to heaven? Well, of course. I can do better than that. I can give you the key that we own like the gates of heaven. You have the keys to heaven? Yes, it's combination lock. So can someone write down number for us? I'll help you, Sean. <laughs> Fantastic. Can the numbers are five, one, one, five, three, one, one. You mean that's the key that'll get us into heaven? Sure, it sure it is. Just turn the paper upside down and have a look. Sean has given us the right answer. Jesus is the key to heaven. He said, I am the way. Nobody comes to the Father except by me. Yep.
Looking to see if my angel wings are sprouting yet. Angel wing? <laughs> well, I certainly don't want to sprout buffalo wings. <laughs> That's me. I'm, li I'm a little confused here. What's going on? Oh, I'm eating angel food cake, so I'll turn into an angel. <laughs> I hate to tell you this, but eating angel food cake won't turn into an angel. But if I don't turn into an angel, I won't be able to go to heaven. <laughs> so that's what this is all about. You want to know how to get to heaven? Yeah, heaven sounds so awesome. Oh no! Now what? I just thought of something. I hope I don't have to eat dog food to go to heaven. Dog food? Cool! What makes you think dog food will get you into heaven? Well, there's this movie called. All dogs go to heaven. If I eat dog food, maybe I'll turn into a dog and get to heaven that way. <laughs> Silly. Eating dog, eating angel food, cake or doggy food will not get into the heaven. So, how do I get to heaven? Jesus said in John 14, 6, I am the way and the truth and the life, and there is no man comes to the Father through him. Jesus is the only way. Jesus? But he was just a good man who died a long time ago. <laughs> no, Jesus is more than that. Jesus is Son of God. He left heaven and was born as a baby here on earth. He grew to be the only perfect man. You mean, he never says to his mama, he never told a lie or thought a mean thought? Never. Jesus lived a perfect life on earth. Wow! The bad things people think or say or do are called sin. Hey, do you know what is sin mean? Not really. Can you tell me? Mm, sin means fail to keep God's command. Example, have you ever lied to anyone? Well... Yeah, but you ain't gonna tell, are you? No. Have you ever still? Well, yeah, but you still ain't gonna tell, are you? No. Have you ever dishonored your parents? Well, sometimes my mama and my daddy tell me to do something I pretend I don't hear. Does that count? <laughs> the Bible tell us, tell us, Romans 3.21, that we all have sinned. Our sins won't let us go to heaven. But if everyone has sinned, does that mean that no one can go to heaven? You're right. No one can get to heaven by himself. That's why we need Jesus. Jesus willing, willing to die on the cross and took the blame. Why would Jesus do that for me? Because he loves you very so much. Let's listen to my friends sing a song about this. <laughs> oh, how he loves us all. Oh, how he loves us. How he loves us all. Get ready? Wow! That was a cool song! I never knew Jesus!
Jesus is loved enough, love me enough to die for me. Three days later, Jesus died on the cross. He came back life and now lives in heaven. You mean Jesus is alive? <laughs> he sure it is. And then Bible tells us that blood of Jesus can wash away our sins and make us clean before God. But I take baths every night. I'm clean. <laughs> you, you may be clean on outside, but sin makes it dirty inside. <laughs> How about if I do lots and lots of good things? Will that make me clean on the inside? No. No. It's nice. To, it's nice to do good things, but good things can remove the sin that is already there. Well, what do I have to do to be clean on the inside? It is the easy step A B C. A stands for admit. Admit that you have done things that you are wrong and now you are the sinner. Well, I've done lots of things wrong, so I admit that I'm a sinner. What does B stand for? B, B, B stands for believe. The Bible tells us Acts 16.31 to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you will be saved. Believe that He is God's Son. I believe that Jesus is God's Son and the only way to heaven. Is that all? No. There's one more thing. C stands for count. Count? I can count. Why? Hey, silly, stop, 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 stop. I didn't mean count as a number. I mean count as in count the cost or consider what this means. It means I get to go to heaven. Yippee! <laughs> yes, but it also means that you became child of God. Your parents here on earth are still your earthly parents, but God is your heavenly father. Cool. Just as you obey and follow your parents here on earth, as your child of God, you want to follow and obey God. How do I follow? By spending time and read the Bible and talk to Him and then obey His command. If I follow God, does that mean all my problems go away? No, God never promised that life here on earth would be easy, but He does promise to always be with you and help you. I really want to be a child of God follow him. What do I do? Simply talk to God right now and tell him and you are sorry for the bad things you have done. Then thanks Jesus for dying for you. Oh, okay, I'm ready. Let's go to church. I can talk to God. <laughs> hey, you always hurry. You don't have to go to church and talk to God. You can talk to God him wherever you are. Oh, can we do that right now then? Of course. I will start and everybody in here and pray and after repeat with me.
<laughs> Anyways, guys, the point is, even though he added a little bit of cat food, it ruined the whole batch of brownies for us. Now we can't eat it. That's how sin is in our lives, guys. Even though we can tell the little lie or say, oh, I don't have any more candy. We have a lot just because you don't want to share. Even just a little bit of sin can ruin our lives. So, John, even that little bit of cat food ruined the whole batch of brownies. I'm sorry. It's okay. <laughs> we'll make some more. Let's start over. <laughs> Woo. Like that, see? Oh, okay. Can you guys see that? <laughs> you guys are gonna do that, okay? Yeah? Okay, now get, get, yeah, hold on. And what you guys have to do is you guys have to make one circle. Whoever makes the one circle first, you guys can get a candy, okay? Okay, alright. Are you Mark? Sid? Go, and then go in a circle this way. Go in a circle this way. There you go. Don't go off the tart, the blue thing now. Hurry, 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 hurry. come on, go, 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 go. <laughs> go on, he left your group behind. <laughs> okay, you left your group behind. All right. All right, I think the girls won here. Yeah? Mommy? I think this happened when I was okay last Saturday, and um, and I was really scared, and I was like, "Who do I call when I'm scared and I need help?" And I didn't have a phone, so I went to the nearest officer and I told him I was lost, and he was able to find my mommy for me. So, who is that? Has that happened to anybody else here? Yeah. All right. Oh, poor things. In the store. Oh, wow. Everywhere. Oh. Well. Well, did you guys know that God wants us to call him? For it says in the Bible that no difference or problems or anything that we need, we need to call him. And his number is very simple. It's not even numbers, guys. It's five letters. Who knows those five letters? What is it? That's it. It says in the Bible that there's only one way to God, and it says that He is the way. It says that there's only one way to God, and He is the way. We got ketchup, we got lemonade, I believe, and we're ready.